I gotta say, some days I wish I didn't have a sister. <sighs> what? Nothing. Oh, I thought you asked me what was going on with my sister. I did not. Hey, look, Tom Tucker. Good evening, I'm Tom Tucker. Huh. Names are a little deceiving. Oh. Oh. What's wrong with you? Oh, it's my back. It's killing me. Yeah, I'm not falling for that hot oil massage bit again. No, this time it's not a bit. I'm really hurt. Good afternoon, and welcome to today's auction. I'm Al Harrington of Al Harrington's Wacky Waving Inflatable Arm Flailing Tube Man Warehouse and Emporium. Due to the presence of black mold, discarded half-eaten turkey legs, and an undulating rat king that no one dares approach, I have been advised to move these proceedings along as quickly as possible. Do I hear an opening bid? Anyone? Do I hear an opening bid for this majestic fiberglass? Do I hear a much higher bid followed by shocked murmuring? $10,000! Shocked. We are all shocked. We can't afford that. Peter, do something. I can't. There's only $9,000 in the mystery bag. Due to my 12 noon court appointment as part of a crippling child custody battle with my horrific ex-wife, I am saying going once, going twice. I'm saying the four of us should storm that castle and take it for ourselves. Should we do it with careful planning or have another couple beers and then just go for it? Well, let's make that decision after another couple beers. I checked with my mom, and she said it was cool with her if we wanted to sleep here tonight. Selling the lamp store and going to travel. We need this after losing both our children. Good day, sir. All right, plan B. We'll shoot flaming arrows like in Robin Hood. So should I be aiming for an open window or just arcing it over the wall? I don't know. I've never seen the movie, just the Brian Adams video. Dr. Hartman, were you able to tell anything from Stewie's x-rays? Oh, yeah. Little guy's got scoliosis. Oh, my God. Oh, no. Am I going to be a big shoe, small shoe guy? But don't worry. He'll be fine. He just needs to wear this brace for a while to correct it. Oh, dear. Now, does he have any school pictures coming up? Yeah, he actually does. Well, then, this will not be a refrigerator door year. Or it's getting laid? Yeah, thanks to Tinder, he's had a different girl every night this week. What's Tinder? It's an app for your phone where two strangers can hook up for a dirty liaison. What, like hookers? No, nope, just two horny people with phones. Wait, I don't get it. So, so you hit them on the head with your phone and knock them out? No, you just swipe someone's picture, they come over, and your choice of wine, couple of inspirational quotes, things I've learned from my cats. No, 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 none of that. You want a naked bathroom selfie covering your stuff with a fistful of $100 bills. That shows you like sex, and you got money. Well, that seems a bit crude. Oh, she's cute. And wearing a yin-yang necklace. That's interesting. Wonder what beach that is. Oh, no, no. Give me that. Send her an eggplant and the erupting volcano. All right, take a gander. Gawk at the elephant man. Let's get it all out. There's our brave guy. Brave? And just for being such a trooper, I thought maybe you could be the first in line for snack today. Hi, are you Courtney from Tinder? You must be Glenn. I got you these. A lovely bouquet for a lovely... Yeah, take off your pants and sit on the coffee table. Okay. That was great. And we could still make our reservation. What? Why? We already had sex. Wait, so I don't have to make... What? No, I can't give this thing up. Wait, what do you mean? You, you want to keep wearing the brace? Of course I do. It's the best thing that's ever happened to me. When I wear this brace, I get pampered like the Queen of England. So, I have the most money in the world, right? Yes, Your Majesty. Great. Can you make sure my hair looks like anyone in a nursing home? Quagmire, come on. It's time for golf. I swipe no on golf. Smells kind of gamey in here. Swipe yes on Betsy, swipe yes on Jennifer, swipe yes on Andrea, swipe yes on all the lady faces. Swipe, 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 swipe. Let's, uh, let's get a little light in here, huh, buddy? Ah, the yellow face! Get some fresh air? Oh, for God's sake. You're gonna have a baby in your butt, man. Can't leave. Heather within five miles is coming. Are you Glenn within five miles? I can take my glass eye out if you want to try something different. I got a good feeling about her. Maybe she's the one. Let's do it in the garage. It's kind of... Uh, Sorry I was late. 
You're still wearing that back brace? That can't be good for you. Dr. Hartman said you were done with that thing. I'm not going to listen to that bozo. Of course I'm still wearing it. Watch me jump this line. Excuse me, I have scoliosis. Excuse me, scoliosis coming through. Hey, pal. Polio. A thousand apologies. Oh, that's the Tinder. A lot of sad, lonely gals who want babies. 300 pounders infested with scabies. Leather gimps who do nothing but moan. These are the weirdos you find on your phone. You know, a surprising number of them live near the airport. Gonorrhea, you're not even close. A filthy degenerate seeking a thrill. Your spirits and genitals run through the mill. With plenty of holes and prescriptions to fill. Cause Tinder makes you so gross. It's like two hours to see if I like it. Ryan! <laughs> what is this? What's happening to me? Oh my God, Stewie. It's got to be from wearing that damn brace all the time. Your neck must have atrophied so much it can no longer support your head. You've got to take me to the hospital. Absolutely. Let me just watch Jennifer's body and we'll go right there. Right. Sir, is everything all right? I'm fine. I'm fine. It, oh, oh, hey, uh, you on Tinder? What? That gross dating thing? No. Look, I'm not trying to pick you up. It just seemed like you were upset about something. And I know when I'm upset, it's nice to let someone else in. Giggity. What did you just say? I, I, I don't know. I think I said... I, ah, damn, I think I was too wordy. I'm still an artist. What was that? I was just saying, I am upset about something. I thought you were. Do you want to talk about it? I do. I buried my twin brother today. We were very close. We used to finish each other's... Um... Your friend? Oh, boy. Well, deal's off. He's dead. But perhaps we can make other arrangements. Hey, do you think I could try to kick one? No, you're all time go. We now return to the Terminator. I've been sent here from the future. I have to have sex with your housekeeper to save humanity. What? Bring me your housekeeper. I have to have sex with her now. I'm the Terminator. I don't have a housekeeper, and I think you're just present-day Arnold Schwarzenegger. A special cheese for a gerbil? After he outranks me. Jeez, Joe, what the hell happened? You used to be this badass cop out there on the street, busting heads and keeping us safe. Well, it may not sound exciting, but I play an important role. I go through all the body cam footage and take out all the parts where the cops go pee-pee. So you're just erasing cop wieners all day? Yeah, not erasing, sort of. Ugh, she just put her tampons on top of the bread. Take the groceries out, we gotta start over. Mom, can I go bare hand raisins from the bulk aisle? Okay, but if you get caught, just say oopsie poopsie like a simpleton. Hey, watch your fat arms! Excuse me, ma'am, your little girl dropped her teddy bear. What? Little girl? Yes. Thanks for giving me a ride, Joe. Hey, since we're in a cop car, let's talk about our hunches and how something doesn't add up. All right. I have a hunch Medea is not really a girl. Yeah, something doesn't add up about that. All units, reports of a drug deal in progress at 5th and Maple. Shots fired. Suspect possibly armed. Hold on, Peter. We can't go in there. We gotta wait for backup. The hell we do! Peter! Yeah, reach for the stars! What? I think he's telling us to follow our dreams. Where are the drugs? What are you doing? You are violating all kinds of procedures. There's no drugs here, pig. Uh, that's why I wanted to talk to you before the show. What's up, dudes? Stewie, what the hell is all this? Uh, only the most manly thing ever. A little something called American football. Is that a Michael Sam jersey? Yep, two boy names. Doubly masculine. Afraid you only have three months to live. <laughs> Swanson, I need to see you right now. Captain? Lieutenant? You had no business participating in that raid at 5th and Maple. Sir? Thank you, sir. Hey, 
Hey, Peter. You know, I was just thinking about how much fun we had the other day and wondered if you'd want to join me for another ride-along. Well, yeah, but I, I thought you said I couldn't do that because you'd get in trouble. Wow, so these are the wife beaters of tomorrow. Which team is Stewie going to be on? He's not going to be on any team. He's just overcompensating because he was called a girl. But once he sees how big the other kids are, he'll back out. Ooh, my shoes have 12 little heels. They're cleats. Okay, kids, let's start practice. Yeah, football, boy stuff. Hit Sir Joe Swanson, who single-handedly cut crime in Quahog by 75%. What? Single-handedly? Officer Swanson, as thanks from a grateful city, please accept the Certificate of Merit. And with that, I hereby declare this hero cop open. Herrera? It's Herrera. Okay, well, that's a lot of R's, but listen, I, I noticed you're not starting Stewie. Oh, I can't put him in. I mean, he can come out for limp handshakes at the end of the game, but I can't play him. He's too little. Little? Oh, like that car you drive over there? Let's see if it looks bigger when I throw a Sprite at it. Well, it's not my car, but I don't care. I'm just a volunteer. Officer Swanson, as you requested, here's a big stack of all the cases you cracked. Oh, great. Now I'm going to go ahead and brood over a photo of the girl whose case was the one I couldn't solve. Your 70s sweater and feathered hair let people know this is a cold case. Well, hello, Officer Swanson. Peter, what are you doing? You're not supposed to... You wouldn't do that, would you? You bet I would. And one more thing. Peter asked me to do this. He, he said it's something from before. I, I, I don't know. I, I hope it's funny. All right, I'm here, but why did you want me to bring this? I'll tell you why. You're getting... Hi, baby. Hi, baby. Get out of Susie's room! Your stuff sucks. I didn't need the full minute. Hey, Stewie. How's our little concussion guy? Oh, my God. Can you... Begging to nobody? Phone's still ringing. Crap, Chris, he's worse off than I thought. We have to do something. Well, on TV, if somebody gets hit on the head, you hit him a second time, and that gets him back to normal. No, no, Chris, this is very serious. You see, what a concussion is, is the impact of brain matter on the inside of the skull. That's why you sometimes hear this nonsense about, oh, let's just give him better helmets. I didn't hear you crying in the shower this morning. I'm just dealing with some stuff at work. But everything's going so well. You've been getting all those commendations, and my online handmade lip balm business is really taking off. I don't even know what you're talking about. Well, I'm proud of you, and you should be proud of yourself. This mess! Where is the housekeeper? Well, you already look better. The doctor should be in any minute. Chris, what the hell? There is a room where you can go in and just get free people. Yeah, you should give that back. Look, told you, Stewie. You're a big, tough boy. Yes, I guess I am. That may be, Stewie, but if I were you, I'd stay off the field. Concussions are the number one problem in football today. Recent brain scan studies have shown... Buddy, guys! Ah! My already irritated eyes! <laughs> Oh, damn it, Peter. This is Officer Swanson. I need backup. And... Ow! They're beating me with vaping accessories. Forget it. There's no time. Freeze, police! Too late. Maybe you had it in you all along. Wow. I guess I just got ground down by years of people treating me like an errand boy, and I just let them walk all over me. You know, you were a real pain in the butt as a partner, but you helped me find myself again. Thanks, Peter. You're welcome, Joe. Excuse me, do you have any tab soda I can bring back to the...